Hey guys, almost stuck here. We're gonna do a little uh, short vlog style video. Right, Dom? Hey, Dom. You wanna try some Sour Patch Kids for the first time? Yeah. Here, gummies. Okay. Try them. No. Yummies. No. Okay. Look. Uh. Yeah. Eat it. You got this or what? Eat it. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. So, update on the truck and plans. Um, What is that? <laughs> Update and plans on the drift truck. Um, got the motor in. Uh, locked everything up. I looked up some motor mounts that I really like. And most likely what I'm going to go with. Um, it's going to take a little bit of modifying to get all them in there and do stuff. Alright, that'll work. Um, I talked to Amfab. They make custom intakes and exhaust manifolds. I could technically buy myself a welder and make my own, but the products that he uses are extremely high quality, look very pretty, and they're tested and proven. To hold and make more horse. I don't want. If I'm going to be dumping the amount of money I am into this. I don't want. Anything that's not going to be up to par. Um, so I told him within the next three months. I'll be contacting him. And get, get those ordered up. He's going to send me the flanges. The T4 flange and an SRT manifold flange, and he wants me to tack weld bars on it for the exact turbo placement I want, which is really cool. So, and in all fairness, I mean, stuff like that's expensive, but it's really, it's reasonably priced for both intake, custom intake and custom manifolds, or custom intake manifolds and exhaust manifolds. It will be a T4 flange and externally gated with suspension I was going to use Miata coils but Belstein makes a 12 inch shock that has um, the same diameter bottom shock mount as the truck and then I will weld a top mount to the frame and have front coil overs I'll get rid of the torsion bars that'll save weight and then in the rear, I am going to get the same coilovers, maybe a, li a slightly less pound rated spring. I'm honestly thinking probably a 350 front and a 300 rear. If anybody knows anything about spring rates, please let me know. But the research I've done for the weight of this vehicle and the, the split on most trucks, that's probably most, most likely what I'm going to be going with. I want a four-link rear, but I won't be doing that until I get a new rear end because there's no sense welding tabs to the existing rear end when I know it's going to blow up. I would like to see just what it can handle, but I also don't want to risk, like, I don't want to spend the money on a drive shaft to be made when I just have to make another one for the new rear end. I am going with a either a, nine, a 98 to 2000 Isuzu rear end. It's 56 inches or 58 inches wide. Has disc brakes. Um, some of them came with LSD, but they do have an LSD and a spool that I can put in there. It's six lug, so I can keep the wheel set up. 
Um, it is a 430 gear, which I'm somewhat questioning, but doing some calculation, some of the calculator things online that they have, it should be at 3,000 RPMs in fifth gear with a 430 rear end is 79 miles an hour. And I feel like that'll be sufficient for a mix of wanting to slide and dailying it. I keep saying drift truck, but honestly, like, I just want a fun toy to mess around with and go to the hill and take to a couple meets here and there and a couple events here and there. Um, I think, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Definitely. I think this truck will probably get a lot of attention being as off the wall and different as it is. That's another reason why I'm also taking the steps to do everything the way I want it in the end first. I don't want to take steps to get there. And it's going to be a little bit more expensive to do it that way, but I feel I feel it's the right way to do it because I don't want to put a bunch of time and money into it and not be what I want. That being said, um, the AR5 Trans, all gone? The AR5 Trans has, there's some forms that are talking about being able to hold five to 500 to 550, sometimes 600 horse. I don't even want that. I want this truck. 450 wheel would be awesome. With the percentage and drivetrain loss, I don't know if it'll be around there, but I'd, I'd really like that. Honestly, this truck at stock SRT power is going to be nuts, but it'll never see stock power. It's always, it's just with the turbo setup I'm using for the T4 flange, it's already gonna make more than stock power. I'm gonna be going through Dave Trojan to tune it. At first, once I, once I have it completely set up, I do wanna do a mild build on the motor. I'd like, I'd like to do rods and pistons and all new bearings and head studs and ARP bolts all the way through. I don't want to go with the whole strap kit and windage tray and tone wheel stuff. All of that's I mean all of that stuff is extremely expensive. But I want to put enough built parts into it that it's reliable around the 450 to 500 mark. If I make 500 on the moat on crank, it should should be around the power that I want to the wheel. And Hopefully the trans holds up because a lot of people are, it's the same, same bolt pattern as an R154 trans, which is in the Toyota Supras, which as you know, Supras are dyno queens. They put up huge powers with the transes with a small amount of build to a trans, but people are swapping the uh, R154s for Colorado and Saturn Sky transes. I'm going to start with a Colorado Trans because they are cheaper. If I don't like the gearing in third, I'm probably going to go to the Saturn Trans because they have the carbon synchros as well. And the shift point is a little further back. I still I don't know where my shifter is going to be. I should have should have measured it, but um, I think I, my next big purchase is going to be a transmission so I can mock that in here as well and find out where the shifter is going to be in the floor. It might be in the same spot. If it's in the same spot, then I don't even have to dig a hole or cut a hole through here. Which, if I do, so be it. It's just a tunnel. I'm already going to have to space out a little bit. Other than that, I think uh, I think everything else is sticking the way it's going to. Um, I don't... I, I've had color options running through my head so much I like like I want to do black and green because that's my thing but at the same time I've done it on my SRT already and everybody does it I want something a little different I was thinking white but white's hard to keep clean it might still be what I'm going to go with just because I think black and white looks really clean together to do some accents um and then I also, I don't mind the red. Maybe 
maybe a little bit darker than what this is now it keep a factory color so it looks decent but there's a lot of factory colors they have a little like a pewter or baby blue color that these came in that looks really nice i kind of like but that's down the road that's the last step when this thing's running driving and drove around for about a year then i'll worry about paint and aesthetics and any body modifications that i'm doing being as the tires are this wide i'd like to put a small flare kit on it plus i think that would look good with a little bit of a drop that i'm putting in it um i'm not i'm not slamming it i'm not a stance boy i like the poke that these tires have i like the setup i like that i can still achieve the lock on the steering angle that i want with the wheel and tire setup there is a set of rims that I do really like, but I'm going to run these for now. If I do buy a different rim, it's probably only going to be a 9 wide. There's really no sense in this 11.5. Like, it's it's extreme. What you got going on, bud? Huh? You good? Yeah, I was Okay. Yeah. Um. 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 I'm still in the air about a cage. Oh, I think the cool factor of a cage would be there. I'll see how it handles. If it's if it's sketchy at all, I'm going to cage it. I might just do it anyway. If I do cage it, I want just a main hoop with an X and my harness bar. And then I'll probably run door bars with pins so I can get in and out. Really, I mean, this isn't that bad anyway, but... I mean, uh, just for convenience purposes, and that way I can take it out if I'm not out sliding. And then um, for weight and purposes of running rear runners to the bed for the cage, I'll probably run a rear Lexan window, which gets rid of the slider, but that is what it is. And the back, I'm going to gut the rear seats because they're absolutely pointless. It's a little, little foam pad this big with a hinge. Like... Nobody's ever gonna sit back there. There's no leg room with the seat to have in here. There's I don't know anybody small enough to sit back there. Um I mean Dominic's small enough, but there he's still needs a car seat and I Yeah. And so I've got that. I'll pro I'll have I'll have the battery box back there. I want the battery relocated back there for space. So I'll have a battery box. I'll have a fire extinguisher. If that don't go right here. Um, and then I want... I mean, there is spots for rear speakers back there. And there's speakers in the dash. I'm not... I don't want a big system. I don't want no banging... Uh, <laughs> I don't want nothing like that. Because I'm trying to save weight. But I do like music. So I'll probably have a couple speakers. The stock locations. But and then. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. And then. The only other thing I want to do is probably retint it. Because it says this tint is bluing really bad. Peeling. There's bubbles in it so i'll be doing that my pretty much everything except for the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold i'll be doing myself um i have the skill so why not i might i might find a i'm gonna be doing a lot of research but i might get some help with the four link just because i want it i want it perfect i don't want any crazy stuff also i found I found a fuel cell I really, really, really like. It's a 18 gallon in bed, but it's like recessed. So about four inches down off of it, there's a, a bolt ring. Shh. Sit on your butt and please be quiet. Can you handle that? Thank you. I'm trying to talk. Appreciate it. And it's recessed, so the bolts We'll go into the bed, it'll sit four inches up, and then it drops down below the bed and is tapered, or not tapered, but angled. And 
I, I really like that setup. It still leaves me room to use the bed. The four link setup that I'm doing is all a shorty. It's got... Dominic, I am talking. Please respect that. We can play in a little bit. Yes. Um, I forgot where I was. Fuel tank. Fuel. And I'm going to run an external fuel pump with AN lines for feed and return. Uh, I need a pressure regulator. And then any, all that, that's simple. I don't know if that tank has a sending or a sending unit for fuel level, but they do make aftermarket ones that I can get in there. Not a huge deal. And then wiring. Wiring is going to be a headache for me because I don't have the patience for technical stuff like that. Super tedious stuff. Um, like I said, the PCM to engine is bone stock. The PCM to ignition is stock SRT. But then wiring lights and this heater core, it might be simpler than I'm thinking. I'm just racking my brain. I might be overthinking it. That is something I definitely do. And then, Daddy. what? Yeah, we can go vroom vroom when I get a motor for this. Do you want to steer? Yeah. Right here. Uh. Come on, little man. Uh. Oh. So, the only other, I mean, then it's just all little stuff. Um, there's a small dent in the tailgate and that little bit of rust. I'll probably get a new tailgate. I'll get new fenders because of them little wrinkles. Um, I'll probably just spray them with some Walmart cans close to this color until I get my paint job. And then I want to buy a new grill because I have to trim it for... I have to trim it for the intercooler, but I want a clean grill to start with. Maybe I might mock up the first one just so I get a practice shot and then I'll do it right. Ouch. Um, other than that, that's about it. I'm going to spend some time with him. I'm at a standstill right now. I just started my new job, so I got to wait for my first check. Hey, you're making noise. You a noisy kid? Yeah. Say beep beep. Say Tom Bomb. Oh. Coming through. Uh. Do not go. It does not go. It does not go. Do you know why? Oh, can I push the pedal? Oopsie. Well, that clutch. That's not connected. Nope. Nope. Mm. But yeah, so no. I'm at a standstill until I have money to purchase some materials to weld up my motor mounts. I know it's your ball. You want to go get it? Alright, go get it. get some money from that and I'll order a trans I'll get everything mocked up huh? I'll get everything mocked up and then uh, oh. Oh, it's ball. yeah it's a ball okay. you gonna go get it yeah ready go get it Yay. <laughs> but yeah so I uh, I'll probably do new door skins because these are kind of a little beat up I don't know if I just want to do like a carpet or maybe some aluminum skinned ones. That'd be pretty cool. Just make them out of a like a 16th gauge aluminum. I don't know. Maybe not because I like I like the stock look. But yeah. All right. That's it for now. Like, comment, subscribe. Give me some insight and ideas. If you like what's going on, and it's going on. Oh, one more thing. 
as soon as I do get paid, I have some plans to have some merch made. I know people like their almost stock stuff. I, I have a lot of hoodies and decals out there already, but I'm going to be making another order. The almost stock decal has a couple modifications to it that I hope you guys like. And if you want any, get in touch with me and I'll let you know. They're going to be a couple weeks. Hey, Go get it. They're going to be a couple weeks out, but I am going to have them made. And let me know on the Facebook page, Almost Stock, if anybody is interested in sweatshirts or t-shirts again. I'm probably going to do the Doing Dumb t-shirts again and Almost Stock stuff as well. So, like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys later.